happened to all those other guys and what happened to your Coney Island? What happened to that America, well, which used to be your America? Oh, I, I, I don't know that. What's happened to America, you know. You, you, you read the papers and you watch television. But I can't understand that, it. Uh, oh, we can't understand it either. Uh, there are very few people in this country who are, who are satisfied, who are satisfied with, with the quality of the government, with the changes in society. Uh, if anything, uh, m most of us are <clears throat> dissatisfied. And when a presidential election comes along, we vote for the person we object to least. Uh, nobody... That, Reading the newspapers, listening to uh, radio, watching television, you get the idea in this country. We, we really, really don't feel we have an, an effective political system working anymore. But that's in the realm of politics. What happened to me from Coney Island is I'm sitting here and talking to you, and I'm very well off. I'm, I'm successful as a writer. Uh, uh, economically, I'm successful as well. M uh, most of the people I grew up with, with whom with whom I'm friendly uh, uh, and who are still alive have done pretty well. And one thing I want to point out about closing time is this. The principal characters, the realistic ones, Sammy and Lou, and the fictitious ones like Yosarian and even Milo Mindabinder, they have all done very well economically. So any despair they feel, any disillusionment they feel, does not have to do with their individual state. Mm -hmm. Part of it comes, I think, from old age, and part of it comes from a loss of useful idealism, youthful idealism. Yes, I see you, I can see you sit in the studio, uh, as I see, in perfect health condition, thanks to God. But you do not live in Coney Island any longer. And if I may quote a sentence from your book, it says, you sound so bitter these days, a friend says to Yossarian. You used to be funnier. Is it true for you as well? I, uh, uh, again, I had trouble hearing you. Uh, if you can repeat the question in a, in a shorter way, I'll have a better chance of hearing it. Yes, I can see you in the studio. Thanks to God, in perfect health condition. But you do not live any longer in Coney Island. That's a no. fact. So something right. changed, yeah. something happened, if I might say. Oh, yes, of course. And I mean, uh, yes. And uh, if I might quote something from your book, it says that you sound so bitter these days, a friend says to your Sarian, you used to be funnier. Is it true for you as well? <laughs> I, I, I have, to, again, I have trouble hearing, but let me answer, answer what, answer what Maybe the question you asked, uh, and maybe it uh, isn't. Uh, what happened to Coney Island itself is what's happened to, to very many places uh, in New York and in the country. It is uh, d disintegrated economically, deteriorated economically. In, in the closing time, the characters Lou and the character Sam, they both moved away from Coney Island as soon as they could. Coney Island was a, 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 a hilarious place to be, but it was a low-income place, very crowded, uh, uh, w w without refined living. Uh, I moved away from Coney Island as soon as I got out of the Army and, and could afford to do so. Uh, that deterioration is very widespread in this country, in this city, in England, and I imagine in many other European countries as well. Uh, what has happened is that I, like Yosarian, have joined the middle class. As our conditions improved, as our income improved, and we were lucky enough to be in that position, uh, we became, even though the term is not welcome to us, we became almost typical, typical middle class American citizens.